Welcome to CompuWord web series. In this short video, I will be giving you information about Virtual IP. This is a failover mechanism in CompuWord, which ensures that all the nodes in your cluster will always appear online to all the clients that are accessing your storage infrastructure. Let's see what would happen to a write operation during a node crash. To simulate this scenario, I will be using my demo cluster CompuWord demo and accessing the fourth node in it using its access IP. Please note that this environment is virtualized and is purely used for demo purposes and we do not intend to show the performance of CompuWord through this. Go into the File System tab, click on Domain and under File System IPs, you will be able to see the assigned IP that this node has got. To access this node using the SMB protocol, Simply open the Windows Explorer and log into this node. Once this is done, I will copy a couple of small files into the file system. To simulate a node crash during this write operation, I will simply go into the Management tool, go to the Maintenance tab and take my last node offline. As soon as the node goes offline, which is shown by the graying out of the node in the management tool, you will notice that the write operation is interrupted and you will see a network error appear. The write operation has now been interrupted as the client has lost connection to the storage infrastructure below. To avoid this situation, you could enable Virtual IP on your cluster. With Virtual IP, when a node in your cluster goes down due to a crash or any other malfunction, the access IP of this node is transferred to another healthy node inside your cluster and all read and write operations that are directed towards this node are transparently migrated to a healthy node in the background. This way, the end users or clients will not notice any downtime and all the nodes in your cluster will always appear online to your end users. To configure Virtual IP on your storage cluster, you would first need to take all your nodes offline. To do this, select all the nodes in your Maintenance tab and take them offline. Once all the nodes have gone offline, go into your Config tab and under the General tab in the Gateway, click on Enable Virtual IP. You could also enable GARP which speeds up the failover mechanism when the node dies down. Once you have made your settings, click on Publish to save your changes. After you've published your changes, go back to your Maintenance tab and bring back all the nodes online. Now let's go back and try to access the fourth node in your cluster. I will make another write operation by copying a couple of more files. As the write operation is underway, let's go back to the maintenance tool and take this node offline to simulate a node crash just as before. You will notice that in spite of the node crash, which is seen by the grayed out node inside the tool, the write operation continues to take place. This is because the virtual IP feature has now been enabled on your cluster, meaning that the access IP of this dead node is moved to another healthy node in your cluster, as well as the write operation has been migrated in the background. As an end user that is accessing CompuWord, I do not notice any interruption of service and my write and read operations will seamlessly go through. I hope that this information has been helpful and thank you for watching. For more information, please visit www.compuword.com or our YouTube channel.